Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now I am going to describe about the implementation issues of the non-monotonic reasoning. Already we know what is the meaning of the, in my past videos, already I have told what is the meaning of non-monotonic reasoning. Non-monotonic means what? Monotonic means what? We are having own, only one logical validity that is either true or false. Whereas in the non-monotonic reasoning means we cannot say the value lies between in between the true and false. Okay. So that is the non-monotonic reasoning. Fudgy logic is one of the effective things that we can use. Based in belief network, statistical reasoning. There are so many number of the solutions to handle such kind of the uncertain situations and as well as the non-monotonic reasoning. Okay. So now we are going to describe about the implementation issues of the non-monotonic reasoning. Okay. So um, there are uh, some of the rememberable uh, implementation issues are there for the non-monotonic reasoning. What are they now? We are going to see the very first one is how to derive the exactly those non-monotonic conclusion that are relevant to solving the problem at a hand while not wasting time on those necess not necessary. Listen, here we are having the multiple number of the inference rules. In those number of the inference rules are some set of the facts, only some of them are used for deriving our own uh, knowledge, deriving our own inference rules. So we have to take only what are the relevant things. We should not waste our time on the irrelevant things. That is the thing only you have to remember. Okay, the next one, how to update our knowledge incrementally as problem solving progress. We have to update our own knowledge according to the Mm, knowledge is increasing according to the complexity of the problem how much complex the problem is we have to update our own knowledge okay the third one is that is nothing but uh, the how to overcome the problem where more than one interpretation of the known facts we are having the set of bunch of facts collection of the facts what we have to do we have to select only some of the things not all okay so how to uh, this is one kind of the problem that is uh, how to pick the exact one how to how to pick the exact fact which is needed to your solution which is needed to your particular problem so in order to eliminate this you have to find only the you have to find only the known facts are qualified and approved uh, by the available inference rules which are known to your inference rules to derive your own inference rules which are known which are qualified and as well as which are approved only these things are needed you have to take in into the consideration while working with those known number of the known facts which are a number of the facts so among the number of the facts you have to know you have to take only the qualified and approved facts for your problem for your uh, inference rules next okay Normally, the whatever theories that are appearing in the computer science uh, to handle the complexity of the problems for the problem solving, whatever, those are not considered as not may not effective, decidable and as well as the semi decidable. Okay, so the solutions offered to handle such kind of the situations are divided into two parts. What are they is nothing but whatever mechanism it happens to have to draw the conclusions are necessary. A problem solver, it is going to use whatever mechanism is helps to solve the problem, you have to use directly that one. And the second one, the truth maintenance system whose job is to maintain consistency knowledge in the representation of the knowledge base. Already we all know what is the meaning of a knowledge base. Knowledge base is what? Containing some set of the rules in the form of true or false values or in the form of the rules. That is a knowledge base. Okay. So we can implement that particular knowledge base by adding more number of the facts, by adding more number of the rules. But what is the thing is we have to maintain the consistency of the knowledge in that particular knowledge base. So that is the second one. So what are the various implementation issues we have addressed here now? We are going to see. So how to derive exactly those non-monotonic conclusion uh, to solve the problem without wasting the time. What are the needed rules? Those only we have to take into the consideration and keep aside the re uh, unnecessary things and keep aside the not required things, the things which are not required. Okay. We have to update our own knowledge incrementally as the problem solving process. And we have to overcome the problem of uh, more than one interpretation of the known facts, qualified and approved facts only for our inference rules, we have to take into the consideration. Okay. And the solutions to handle uh, such kind of the problems which are not effective and decidable and semi-decidable is we have to use the direct mechanism and the truth maintenance system of the knowledge base must maintain the consistency of the knowledge. These two are the things we have, these, these four are the things we have to remember uh, for the implementation issues in the non-monotonic reasoning.
so already we all know what is the non monotonic reasoning whenever we are talking about the values the logical validity of any kind of the statement that may be either true or false it holds only one value but whenever the value lies between in between true or false that comes under non monotonic or uncertainty knowledge to handle such kind of the uncertainty knowledge we are having statistical reasoning non monotonic uh, reasoning uh, like uh, based in belief networks based in belief Bayesian theorem, all these things are there. Fuzzy logic is a very effective tool to handle such kind of non-monotonic reasoning. Like that, we are having various things to handle such kind of non-monotonic situations. So these are the implementation issues we have to take into the consideration while working with the non-monotonic reasoning. So if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel, Intelligible Tutorials. Thank you, one and all. Thank you.